Hey everyone, thank you for hopping on. Tonight we're going to be talking with my super special good friend, Ashley Skidmore. Um, she is a triple diamond. She's been in this business for a little over two years now. She is absolutely amazing. She's earned her Christmas cash. She earned the winner's circle. She is just one of my most favorite people in the whole world. So um, without further ado, I'm going to pass it over to her, but please remember you guys to mute yourselves as you're hopping on and to also turn on your camera so we can see your pretty faces. So Ashley, um, if you see a bunch of like O's in the chat, um, that's just our way of cheering you on and just loving on you. That just means that everybody's fired up. Please, everybody put your questions in the chat. She's going to go through and tell her story and she's going to pause a couple of times and let us, um, you know, go through the questions that we have, but she just has an incredible story. She, she's, uh, has a little girl, a little taxi Ray. She's married. She has another business on the side. She's has all the things going on, but she is an absolute boss at this business. So um, Ashley, tell us a little bit about your story, how you came to know uh, it works and kind of what it's done for you. Okay, so I'm literally laughing um, when you said she's literally a boss because my husband's probably over there shaking his head because <laughs> I sometimes you guys am just a hot mess mama. If you can relate, if you are just a hot mess mama trying to survive, like drop a one in the comments because I think sometimes we can get on these Zooms and get, um, you know, have a leader speak to you and you think, man, they have it all together. And I assure you, I do not. Like, I am one of those moms that I, I've tried schedules, I can't stick to it. I've tried um, all the different things. And so if you are just a hot mess mama that needs coffee to survive, like, um, wait, wait, can you all not see me? Um, we can see you now, but you're kind of like to... freezing in and out. Okay, so you know, I live out in the boonies. Um, my, uh, the internet here is kind of flaky. So if I go in and out, hopefully you guys will be still be able to hear me. Um, but let me know if you can't hear me, okay, and at any time and I will um, maybe try to move to a different location. But I am a hot mess mama and I just need coffee and dry shampoo to survive. And, you know, I do my best. And I think that that is um you know part of the secret to success is just straight up showing up even when you are a hot mess is just show up for this business and be consistent in it because you know you can have days we all have days where we just want to throw our hands up and be like i can't put anything else on my plate and somehow i still do somehow i still don't go to bed at night unless i know i've done something for my business okay um because it's that important to me and it's that life-changing so i'm gonna start and i'll tell you guys a little bit about my story and how i got started and um kind of my reason why i keep pushing and then i'm gonna let you guys just ask me any questions you want to ask me so if you think of something really important as i'm going and you can drop it in the chat and then maybe lauren or someone could you know um remember those questions to ask me at the end but um i also have a toddler and she's at this stage right now where she just really is clingy so if you're a mama who has a clingy um i'm just gonna keep talking because i'm kind of used to that so um okay so i joined off of the hap so haps work i had recently two and a half years ago i had a baby and i was really miserable i gained 65 pounds with pregnancy so if you can also relate to that that is um really the weight gain of pregnancy was really tough and i just felt like i had a newborn i couldn't um you know i was trying to do all the fad diets like keto i couldn't stick with that and then i um was trying to you know time trying to find an exercise routine and i just couldn't stick with anything and i saw this girl posting about coffee and i thought that I can do. I can drink coffee. That is that is one thing I'm really good at is drinking coffee. So I commented on the girl's hat and she messaged me. 
Her name is Jamie Marie. She's my upline. And we are downline from Carrie Young. I don't know if y'all know who that is, but I that's why I joined. I joined off of a hat to simply lose weight. And when she reached out to me about um, the, how the coffee worked and about being a loyal customer, immediately I thought, um, well, what is the cost to just sell this? What if I even just made enough money to join, you know, to pay for my products? Because at the time, like I was a mo new mom and I needed a little bit of extra income. And you guys, my credit card declined when I joined. That is a true story. I was so embarrassed. And I told her, I said, I will call you back tomorrow. It's probably my bank just recognizing it as fraudulent. And she probably thought, yeah, she won't call me back. But I did because I really wanted the coffee more than anything. I didn't really care about the business. I just wanted to lose the weight. Got my coffee in the mail and um, a month in, I sent her a message. She tried to get me to work and I said, I just want to try it. Let me just try it first. Make sure that, you know, I like it before I start pushing it. So I didn't start off running by any means. I lost like eight or 10 pounds in my first month and I was really impressed. I sent her a picture and she said, you should share that. And I said, oh no, you know, I don't, I don't want to share anything just yet. And, um, but I did. And I, I, I signed my first customer. In fact, my first uh, month in, I only signed two customers, guys, two customers. And I was flipping proud of myself. And then we got our paycheck and it was $31. So drop me in the crap. I was so, I was kind of ticked. I was like, $31. So, you know, and I was kind of upset and I, rem my upline was like, well, how much, you know, like we, isn't that why we signed up to make a million dollars? Um, but I, yeah, so I, um, I joined and, um, was, I thought I would make a million dollars. I didn't, it took me six months to get, um, really into, you know, how to sell the business. And I, I didn't really, I wasn't a believer. I just kept wanting to lose weight. And then in December, um, I'd signed zero customers, zero, nothing. I didn't even make a post all December long. It was the holidays. I just wasn't in it for the business. I was just trying to keep losing weight and I still got paid. And that was an eye opener to me. I signed zero customers and I still got paid. And I was like, she said, you got paid today. And I was like, from what? I didn't do anything. And she said, this residual income from, you know, all the months. And even though it wasn't that big of a check, it dawned on me, what is this residual income? And I started doing my research, guys. Um, and then come January, this was the year 2020, right before COVID hit, when life was still normal, you know, January of 2020, before we knew COVID existed. Um, everybody went to conference in Florida, everybody except me, because I still was not a believer in the business. And then I had extreme FOMO. Mark was on the stage and was talking about all these bonuses. And I was like, that can't be real. Like people don't really make that kind of money. And it was almost like I had to prove them myself. Like, is this, is this real money? Um, and so I just dove right in. I went from signing zero customers in December, not even making a post all month long to triple diamond in six months in June, because my mind, like my mind was like, I am going to prove everybody wrong. I'm going to show that this business works. I earned a diamond bonus, a double diamond bonus and a triple bonus all within six months. And it's all like, I can tell you it's a hundred percent because I decided. Like I decided it was happening and I didn't, my upline is amazing. Don't get me wrong. But if you are waiting on your upline to teach you everything about this business, you are missing out. I started reading books. I read GoPro. I started digging in. I started figuring out what it was going to take for me to be successful in network marketing. I started getting on all the Zooms. I was rewatching old Zooms from Jade Hooper and Ashley Mayfield. I was literally teaching myself the business. Not that my upline is not amazing and that because she is I just knew I had to take responsibility for my business because no one else was going to do that for me except me and so that was one of my biggest turning points is just taking responsibility for this business and actually figuring it out what are successful people doing what books are they reading what you know and so I was printing out my chart each month and I would print out the next chart and I would say okay 
I need 15 boxes filled. If I'm going to go triple, at least I've got to get these 15 boxes filled. And I just went hardcore after it. And my husband would come home from work and be like, we got another box filled. We're down to 13 boxes, now 12. And we just, I just literally just dove right in. Um, I encouraged my team along the way. You have to build relationships with your team because you are nothing without your team. Um, and I feel like when I got that bonus, I shared it back with my team because they helped me get there. So I did all kinds of bingos and stuff and I did cash prizes. I'm like, okay, you guys, if we go triple as a team, I'm gonna get this bonus and I'm gonna share it back with you guys. So what I did was like each time they got an LC or a DT, they got to pick a number on my board. And I literally, when I got my paycheck, I paid them back in cash for all those like prizes and they have stuck with me. And I think that is um, a huge part of my success is that I love my team. I live like, I love my team um, and they, we, you know, we support and help each other. And so that is crucial in this business is you have a team with working with you um, because you don't want to get to the top and be lonely at the top. I know we've heard that said before, but it's so true. Like um, you have to love on your team. And so I want to talk to you guys about one of like the pivotal moments in my business. I am a, um, a former school teacher. I taught first and second grade for eight years. And I want, I was living around in Metroplex in Dallas and I wanted to move back home closer to my mom and dad, closer to my family. And we live out in the boonies in a little town um, in Northeast Texas. And I interviewed for a job there. And so I, she literally like gave me the pay scale and scooted it over to me. And I thought when I looked at it, I am 37 years old you guys I'm 37 educator and my I was going to cap out at 65,000 like that's all I was going to be able to make after 30 years of teaching was 65,000 and I was like gosh mate and then when I really like I remember that moment of thinking like you know how am I going to make this happen? And you guys, when I joined this business hundred dollars that first year in, like over that six months, remember I wasn't really into it. Next year in 2020, when I really got serious and went after it, it works paid $5,000 is what I made year two in the business. And so I was thinking like I compared and I was like, I was gonna have to work 30 years as an educator or work really, and then it dawned on me that no other opportunity can, um, can pay me. Let me see if I can, can you guys hear me now? Am I still breaking up? Okay, so um, I'm moving closer to the window. Um, so no other opportunity could pay like this could pay. And so for me, like that was just a huge eye opener that I could literally make what I was gonna make for 30 years working as a, um, an educator my second year with It Works. You guys, this is my year three and we've already um, cleared $100,000 and hit the top 150 income earners um, with my team. And so I just, one thing dawned on me is like the average life expectancy in the United States is 78 years old. Like you can drop your age below. I just kind of want to see where everybody's at. But the average life expectancy in the United States is 78, okay? And I don't mean to say this to sound morbid, but I want you to listen to what I'm going to say. If the average life expectancy is 78 and I am 37, half of my life is already over. And 37 years is a long time to stay broke. 37 years is a long time to live paycheck to paycheck. 37 years is a long time to keep waiting on, you know, well, when my kids get out of the house or when I make extra money, 37 years is a long time to be in credit card debt. 37 years, you guys, like 
if half of my life is already over, I don't want to spend the next 35, 37 years struggling. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you can't show up to these type of Zooms and be all on fire and then go back and sit on your porch. Like you have to make this happen. Nobody is coming to do this for you. Nobody's gonna read the book for you. Nobody's gonna get on the Zoom for you. Nobody's gonna, you know, look at podcasts and listen to podcasts. Nobody is going to teach you, but you. You have to be the one to change the rest of your life. It's you. And so like for me, that was this huge like eye opener of like, okay, I'm not going to just make a post and then sit back and wait for people to come comment on it. No, I'm going to get out there. I'm going to get in people's messenger. I'm going to ask them to hack for me. I'm going to ask them to put up a post for me. I'm going to ask them to share this to their stories. I'm going to go live. I'm going to pivot in my business. I'm going to try new things. I'm going to try a flipping reel. I don't know how to do a reel, but I'm going to teach myself how to do a reel. I'm going to make this happen because nobody else in my life, it's my opportunity to change. But no matter how great of a teacher I was, I could do all those things in education, right? I could be the best teacher in the whole world and all they're ever gonna pay me is 65,000. But if I do that same thing, if you can go, like the sky is the limit, like this is an un capped income an uncapped income and so if you're just sitting there like waiting on customers to come to you like you are missing the whole point like you have got to get out there and you've got to get uncomfortable because the worst thing that can happen is you get your feelings hurt okay the worst thing that can happen is that someone can tell me no i don't want to buy the product or no i think that's a you know scam or they can make fun of me or they can laugh at me that's the worst that's going to happen is that you get your feelings hurt and for me like i don't know if it's something like it works is not paying you to get your feelings hurt okay it works is not paying you to get your feelings hurt it works is paying you to promote a product it works is paying you to tell people about the products. It works is paying you to sign new team, for, team members up. So you have to offer that opportunity. If you offer that opportunity to one person a day, every single day of the year, just one, you've offered that opportunity to 365 people. And so my job is to offer the opportunity. My job is to post about the products. My job is to to do that for it works. It's not my job to get my feelings hurt, okay? so. If you are literally scared to send that post or scared to send that message or scared to go live, like it works is not paying you yeah. to get your feelings hurt. It works is paying you to promote the product. So when you think of it like and that mommy, in a mo mentality of, me. I've got to do this because it works is paying me to, your whole business will change. You'll because quit getting scared to mommy. offer someone the business because mommy, you know I'll what? Okay, you can that. take that. Okay. Tell daddy to unplug it. Okay. It works is paying you to promote the product and that's just the honest truth and so what i want you guys to do is to stop getting in your head and stop letting things hurt your feelings and just get out there and do it if someone does hurt my feelings i let it sting for just a second and then i keep going on to the next because guess what's going to happen people are going to tell you no they're going to say yeah that's not for me or no i don't think i'll be very good at that or no, I think I'll wait a little bit. And that's okay, because at least you planted that seed and at least you offered it to them. And nine times out of 10, they're gonna come back around to you a few months or maybe even the next year, but like they come back. And if you are consistent in this business and you show up every day, you will be successful. Like God will bless your hands. Like I 110% believe that. If you are working with pure intentions in your heart, God is gonna bless your hands. Okay, so let me look at my notes. Um, oh, also, okay, haters. Like, haters are out there. Like, there's always going to be somebody waiting for you to choke. Like, that's just how people are. Like, people are mean, especially behind their screens. But, like, God is going to test your intent with insults. Okay, like if one little insult can bring you down or make you stop working towards your goals, then you're not worthy of them in the first place. Like, look, like, Jesus like was definitely thrown stones at and ridiculed and made fun of and he kept pushing towards his bigger purpose. And so like you cannot let those haters stop you from your blessings at all like they're going to be there they're going to help you choke they're going to laugh and they're going to talk about you. And that's okay, because like God is going to use um, he's going to 
test your intent with insults and I'm a huge there of making fun of me. I'm doing something right, right? Um, okay. Also, let me see. Tell me, um, oh, my Christmas bonus. Okay, so um, the four and one thing, the Can four and one you? is, in, go ahead and, yeah. Let mm -hmm. me interrupt and ask you me quick. some questions because yeah, because otherwise you, have, have, you just have so much stuff. Like I just, I am like, you're just, just everything you say just is so amazing, <laughs> and I'm so excited. And I wish, see, now we can see you now that you're not talking. But um, I'm so excited, you guys, because I get to go spend the weekend next weekend with Ashley, and I just love her so much. I just wish you all could just just spend some time with her. Um, but. So our stories are really similar. How many of you have had um, people that you've signed up and you've been really excited about and they just kind of fell off the face of the earth and they did nothing and you gave up on them and you never followed up with them and you never talked to them again and you just thought, well, that's a waste of my time. I'm not doing that anymore. Ashley didn't work for several months and then here she is a triple diamond. She earned Christmas cash. She's top 150. She earned winter circle, all the things. I didn't work for several months. I earned winter circle. I have not earned my Christmas cash yet, but I am a triple also. So you guys, there's people that are going to be on your team that are going to start and they're going to do nothing, but don't give up on those people. You know, like she was saying, you have to build relationships with your team. So even if they're not working, check in on them. They're still humans. They're still people and they still have feelings. Check on them and say, hey, how's your son doing? How's your day? You know, did y'all go to that football game? What it doesn't have to be at works related. You can still just start building relationships with people and be a genuine human being. Um, so I love that we can see you now. Ashley's house is like the absolute best. And I I just love it. It's so cute. Um, and my little Texy Ray. Um so we have had a lot of people lately talking about like, you know, it's not your upline's responsibility to do the work for you. It's not their responsibility to put together a board for you. It's not their responsibility to send you a post every day. Sure. Whenever you're brand new, it is our responsibility to hold your hand and guide you through everything and give you everything that you're going to need. But if you're sitting around waiting because you don't have an upline, I mean, I know for a fact that you do a big majority of the things all on your own. We have been, um, you know, we've gone and stayed the weekend camping with Ashley and her family and they've come here and we've, you know, done all these things and she still does so much for her team while we're just sitting around at the lake or while we're walking through round top, she's, she's constantly connecting with her team and constantly sharing all of the things, but that's not, it's, it's totally different. They, she has some amazing leaders that step up and that take over things whenever she needs them to. Um, so that brings me to my next question. How do you train your newbies? How do you, how do you, I mean, because you are a leader of leaders, you do have people on your team that, you know, can take over zooms if you need them to that can do all of the things if you have to be gone for a minute so I think a lot of people right now just kind of want to know especially with this four and one like how are you training your newbies how are you training leaders how are you you know where are you putting your effort in what are you doing to help them become better leaders um, because it really reflects in your team the what you do so what what is what's your favorite way to to launch a newbie and to, to train your leaders. Okay, so one of the favorite, my favorite things I like to say is that leaders aren't born, they're built. Okay, so like professionals built the Titanic, but an amateur built the ark. Like Noah had no idea what he was doing, um, but with guidance, he was able to build a flipping ship um, and professionals built the Titanic and it flipped and sunk. So leaders are built, they're not born. So when you have someone on your team that's not really jumping out there and being a leader, um, they probably just need to be built up by you. Um, and I 100% believe that. It took me six months to be a leader in this business because I didn't fully believe in it. And had Jamie have given up on me, I wouldn't be where I am, but she continued to kept checking in and giving me like the encouragement I needed um, to be 
to go after it and do. And so like, I just remembered that feeling. And so uh, the du a double diamond on my team right now, she also did not work the business for six months because she didn't want it to interfere with her unemployment. So I just stayed love, like the love them where they are. Like you cannot get mad at the people on your team for for not being where you were at in the business because just because Lori wasn't ready to run when I was ready to run didn't mean she wasn't going to be an incredible leader and I'd loved her where she was and I understood and I just continued to um, reach out to her and now she's an incredible leader on my team but I will tell you like I've said a million times I am nothing without my team and I know that like I would not have a triple diamond um, title without my team. Like it took a group effort. And so I constantly um, reward my team. And I talk like we, the, the leaders on my team and I, we talk almost on a daily basis. I do send my team daily posts, daily story slides, daily professional development, daily encouragement from myself. I send them little one minute videos of me saying, okay, here's your one minute daily tip. Because a lot of times people are intimidated to get on these Zooms because they think they have to talk or they think they have to have their camera on or they think or if you even send them a zoom like if, if you're a busy mom like you think oh my god I have the last thing I have time to do is sit down and listen to an hour video or an a 30 minute zoom right but people will listen to a one minute video of you saying okay here's a tip of how i grow my network or here's a tip of stories i learned this today or here's a tip um towards a new reel or here's a tip so like i literally like because you can send little one minute videos in messenger so i literally make a little one minute video and say you guys don't let the haters block your blessings i had a hater today this is what she said and i'm just gonna bless her and keep on going i literally send my team little one minute videos daily of like um a, t a tip a tip of the day from ashley and i think that keeps them fired up and staying close to the fire and connected to me because they see my face and see um you know the struggles that i'm going through if i get a hater i screenshot it and send it to them so they know it's not just them getting a hater that i get them too um i want them to i want to send them daily posts because i know as a busy mom and especially as a newbie you don't always have time to go find your post so if i have it ready made for them and i'm saying this is a good post i send it to them um i send them their story slides not one at a time but i send them all in a group message and then they can use that or use their own that's up to them but i feel like we Leaders are built, they're not born. And so I just feel like you are only as strong as your team. And so if you're going to have a strong team that can like take the reins, if you have to be down for a week or two, you have to build them. And that takes, I spend most of my time helping my team. Um, and I think that's why, I, in fact, I know that is why um we continue to grow and thrive is because i'm building strong leaders and then in turn they're building strong leaders um so if you are not focusing on your time and attention towards the girls on your team um Kami always says do a third third and third so if you're breaking your time up in this business spend a third of it like for yourself like your postings your stories and your having spend a third of it on training your team like spending that third with your team on making sure they are comfortable where they're at and a third of your time on professional development, be it book or, you know, um, podcast or whatever you're doing. I love that so much. Um, you're such a great leader. You're such a great friend. Um, just all of the things. So your team is so lucky to have you. Um, so now you earned your Christmas cash and you're doing it um like in a really fun new way so kind of talk to the people um talk to us about how you're like flipping triple threat customers over to dt's and how that helped you earn your uh christmas cash okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna send my script to lauren and then she can share it with all of you guys after this zoom is over but basically I, you know, I do a lot of hacks with coffee because that's what I started at. And I think, you know, it's an easy flip uh, for people with the coffee, right? And then from there, I always upsell gummies because they're incredible and we have great results with them and they're clinically proven and they taste yummy. And it's like the best like upsell with coffee is gummies. Um, and so then if they're going for that, so I, my response to them, okay, if you're going to do the Thermify and the gummies and the um, coffee, you might as well join as a rep for $11 more. Okay, so hear me out. So if they're going to buy coffee, gummies, and Thermify, 
a month supply of all of that is going to be 138 right as a loyal customer and they get free shipping but it's going to be 138 a month for three months as a loyal customer so i say you might as well join it's a lot cheaper for you to join as a rep for only 11 dollars more it makes it 149 and you will have no three month commitment you just order as you please you guys that has been a, and i said and then you get paid to lose weight and i you know maybe some of your friends are interested in doing this with you and i said you'll get paid to lose weight plus there's an opportunity for you to get your 150 back um, with our four and a friend program what do you say and so i'll send lauren the exact script so you can see how it's worded but it has been game changer and upselling all of my triple threat customers to a distributor and right then i'm like after i get them signed up okay now listen we're giving away 500 dollars cash this month and all you have to do is make this post for me and i can put your name in there because remember they signed up wanting to be a customer not really a distributor but i talked them into being a distributor right so then i'm gonna give them my favorite first post for new distributors it's the one i'll send that one to lauren also but it's the one that's just a plain bright background and it says so I'm in the gummy biz now. And in the comments you put, I'm looking for testers or whatever. That is a surefire bet to grab attention on your new distributors. And all of them are like, oh my gosh, I have so many people interested. And I'm like, see, we're going to put all these new people under you. And so literally I've taken a customer, upsold it to a distributor because I told him it was cheaper because it is cheaper because they don't have to do the three month commitment, right? As a with that, they can just order what they need. And then I tell them, listen, we're giving away $500. You need to put this post up so I can put your name in. They get they get um, tons of comments off of that post. And then we literally sign the customers right under them. And boom, I've, I've upgraded a customer to a distributor and got three or four customers under them, all usually within the first few days. And so that is how I've gotten my Christmas cash um, with that method. And it has been straight fire. So I will send um that script and that first post you have them make um to lauren because it is game changer i love that so much <laughs> she is she's so awesome um so you know something you said earlier it's not our job to worry about whether people say yes or no it's our job to share the information it's our job to ask it's our job to you know just put it out there um I think it's it's Cami that says that it's not our job to worry about whether they say yes or no. It's just our job to ask. We're professional askers. Um, so that being said, what are some of your absolute non-negotiables that you do every single day for your business? Yeah. Okay. So I have a daily six and I learned to work it into my day because so many times if you don't work it into your day, you will come home from the day but tired and all you want to do is turn on your netflix and pour yourself a glass of wine and feel sorry for yourself like i mean i'm i'm a mama too look at my hair like i don't even know the last time it was washed but there are days that i just want to come home and literally pour myself a glass of wine and sit on the couch and do nothing and i know i get that way towards the end of the day so if i don't start my day off strong then it's easy for me to make excuses at the end of the day so what i do is a daily six um, and I will tell you what my daily six is and how I incorporate it. So step one, y'all can jot these down, but number one is post. Number two is stories. Number three is add 25 people. Um, number four is HAP. Number five is professional Mommy. development. Mommy. Hold on, Texie. Um, just a second. Um, let me, oh crap. Um, I can't. Can you get her for just a second? Um, okay. So. I'm sorry, professional development. And then um, number six is what a post stories have professional development, add 25 people. Oh, interact, interacting on Facebook. That's my last thing I say for the end of the day. Okay, so like the very first thing I do when I get up in the morning, um, and this is how I work it into my day. So if I'm doing my hair and my makeup, I turn on professional development. I'll find a Zoom. I love to watch Jade Hooper old videos, or I'll turn on a podcast that's really important to me, but I start my day with professional development. And I literally play it on my phone while I'm getting ready in the morning. So boom, that's checked off of your list while you're fixing your hair, while you're doing your makeup, just listen in to your professional development and that's done. Um, and then the first thing I do, like while I'm making my coffee is I'll throw up my post for the day, whatever I'm going to post and run my stories that literally takes less than five minutes to add your post and stories. Yeah. So already in your morning, you've already finished half of your to do list. Yeah. 
I mean, it's that simple. Half your to-do list is done before you even walk out of the house. On your lunch break, when you sit down to eat lunch, you're gonna add 25 people. That's easy to do on either Facebook or Instagram. I just go through there and grow my network with 25 people. Um, and then in the evenings, I like to send my hat. So now I've gotten four things done right throughout my day. So then when I come home, the only thing left I have to do is interact, which that's the fun part. We all like to get on Facebook and scroll while we're drinking our wine or, or unwinding for the day. So I make sure I comment on at least 20 people's stuff. Like I am constantly commenting on someone's picture of their kids or someone's vacation pictures, like just interact with people. That's so important, you guys, that you actually like and comment on people's stuff um, that you usually don't interact on because it switches up the algorithm so new people are seeing your stuff. So just making sure you're liking and commenting. And that's the fun part. And then at the very end of the night, that's when I send my, like I'll send out 10 hot cat messages. Hey girl, uh, um, I know you've been seeing my um, side gig, aka Magic coffee i'm actually going for a huge christmas bonus and it would mean the world to me if you would just add this simple post to your story um and let me know when it's posted and and i will send you know put you in our 500 dollars drawing so i'm sending story hats because a lot of people um don't want to add to their i figured out that a lot of people don't want to post it on their facebook wall but they'll throw anything on their stories and so i've got a little gummy picture i'll send to lauren too y'all remind me but i use that on my story slides and it has a little gray box and i say tag me in the gray box on your story and so literally people are watching their stories and they're like they're, if i'm tagged in their story they can click on my name and message me the word gummies and i will send them information so I send out my, my haps at night and that way, and then boom, my to-do list is done throughout like the little snippets of my day. But those are my non-negotiables. Like sometimes when I have extra time, like I will try to make a TikTok or a reel, but you guys, to be honest, I've never had a TikTok or a reel ever blow up. The key to my business has been the consistency. You guys, like for almost three years, I've just been very consistent in my business and very consistent with my team and what I train them to do. And um, consistency and discipline will take you so much further in this business than like any drop of motivation will. So you better get your discipline pants on before you put your motivation pants on because those discipline pants, they will get you where you need to be. I love that. So I know we've already kept you for a while and little Texie Ray is getting restless, but do you have anything else, any last bit of information or tip or just any encouragement to give out to people? Any last thing you'd like to say? Yeah, uh, y'all get off your porch get off your porch you need to get up off that porch and tell your porch i am leaving i will not be sitting here next year i will not be sitting here next month i am getting off the porch and i am going to go make this business happen for me because you guys network marketing um i'm gonna cry you guys like i went from making 31 dollars to ten thousand a month and there's so many big things you can do like god wants to bless you like god wants to um show you that kind of money because it feels so good to walk out of a restaurant and be able to like leave a hundred dollar tip and watch their face as you walk off you know those type of little blessings you're able to do for other people when you have the funds to do them and um i just won't ever take it for granted you know um and give give back to um your team and the people who helped you get there and um you'll be successful but get off the porch and change your life like um because someday is literally a disease that like you'll take to your grave with you like one day you will wake up and it will be your last day here and like you don't want to spend your days thinking i could have done more i should have not worried about if my feelings were hurt i should have sent that message and um just put your big girl panties on and do it Thank you so much. You are so amazing. Um, I really appreciate you spending time with us, taking time away from Bodhi and Texi Ray. And uh, we just love you so much. And we're just so grateful for you. Um, but thank you so much. I can't wait to see you next weekend. Bye.